download an MPEG stream clip, what you want to do is you want to get the original files off the card that you shot the footage on. So right now I'm going to click on card, get the files off, put them into a folder. Let's do that real quick for you. I'm just going to put them in this folder for all intents of training purposes. Now this will copy and as soon as it's done, I will be right back. Now that the files are actually on the computer, you might be asking yourself, why didn't I just take them from the card into MPEG stream clip? Well, there's actually a reason for that. I like to have the files backed up in case I have to format the card and actually need the original files. That way they never get lost and I can always access them when I need to. So now I'm going to open up MPEG stream clip. I'm going to go to list, batch list, and right here you can add more than one file. I recommend this for adding multiple files. So I'm going to actually find the files that I uh, just transferred to the computer click the .mov files to batch then I want this to do export to QuickTime so I'm going to click OK then I'm going to choose a destination I'm actually going to make a new folder call it converted click create select right here are a bunch of different settings and compression types we can use to get these files into Final Cut so we can start editing Typically we use Apple ProRes, um, I'm actually going to pick the LT button, um, that's just for light, it's a less of a compression. I'm going to jack up the quality because that's what I want, and I'm going to leave it in 1920 by 1080. Uh, I'm going to go to batch, then all I have to do is click go, and they will start encoding. Once all these files are done being converted through MPEG Stream Clip, what you do now is you basically open up Final Cut Pro. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a new project. I'm just going to file a new project. I'm going to save the project as, let's just do this as, let me pick where I want to save it real quick. We just called this MPEG example. Click save. Now I'm going to bring in the footage. So I go to file, import, I'm going to bring in the footage from uh, MPEG Stream Clip that we just converted. So then we go to Converted, click Choose. Now I can actually start laying the stuff down on the timeline. Click Yes to here. It's uh, basically asking, do you want to change sequence settings to match the clip settings? You always want to click Yes. In some cases you want to click No, but for this example, um, this is just a clip of Gettysburg in Pennsylvania. Um, so there's the MPEG Stream Clip process. Now that you've seen the MPEG stream clip process, what I'm going to do now is show you how to use Log and Transfer in Final Cut Pro to get the files into Final Cut and it'll actually convert them for you. So first things first, like I showed you in MPEG stream clip, I'm going to get the files off the card first. So this is this is very important you do it this way. You actually have to copy the MISC and the DCIM folders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them just as is, I'm going to put them in a folder. I'm just going to put this in a video files folder. And now I'm just going to hit paste. I'm just going to paste them in. Just as they are, you don't need to go into the folder and actually select the clips. You have to do it this way or else it will not work in login transfer. What I'm going to do now is actually eject the card from the computer because Final Cut will try to recognize this card and get the files from the card. But I don't want that because I already backed them up on my computer. So I'm going to eject the card. I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro. I'm going to create a new project. We'll just call this, uh, we're going to save it as, we'll just call it Log for Log and Transfer. So, what I'm going to do now is go to File, Log and Transfer, Add a Volume, which is basically I'm going to add the card itself. I click the MISC and the DCIM, I click OK on both of those, it's very important. By doing login transfer, you can actually retain time code information that's actually embedded onto the card. So that's why you select those two folders whenever you transfer the card onto your computer or wherever. So I'm going to change the setting, I'm going to go to Preferences, this little tab over here. I'm going to scroll down, 
for this E1 EOS movie, I have Apple ProRes 422LT. That's the one I want, but you can actually change it by clicking the little arrows. Click OK. All you do now is you select all the clips. I'm going to select them all now. I'm going to go Add Selection to Queue. And it will actually start doing it. And it's actually very important that you do nothing else besides let these files actually transfer. So you don't want to actually do anything while these are converting. Once the files are converting, they'll actually go to your Capture Scratch, wherever you have that set at, so you can actually access them once they're converted. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on how to do MPEG Stream Clip and Login Transfer Process. I personally prefer the log and transfer process only because it stores time code information on the clips. But if you actually need to use MPEG Stream Clip, by all means, both of these processes work.